will show you how to make a very common snake game. Now, where's that snake? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> now, after you have had the snake, which is there, you need a snake which has a costume of a head and a body. Both would be I consider the head is a four by four square with two ovals with gray color in the middle. The body that would be also four by four square equal to this head. Now for the fruit, the fruit which is the thing that you will need four by four. These are all just square. So yes, now let's start making it. First, let me do something. First, okay. Now we'll need a snake. Usually most people would think making a snake game would be like a long snake and hide and show and make lots of variables and any other stuff. This make them think that making a snake game is very hard. But actually it is as easy as could be. <coughs> now when click it, repeat until touching the edge. The edge. Okay, or touching its own color. This is when it touches its own body. We'll use this. Touching color. You can choose this color up here. We are going for the snake. There. Put it right up there. Next is we are going to do is create clone of myself. This is like a clone and all the way that will follow it. When I start as a clone, wait a minute, move, I would consider 20 steps. Go to X zero zero. Now when I start as a clone, switch costume to the body. So the main sprite would be a head, but the clone would be a body. And then, wait. We would wait how long the length of it is. We'll use this, change it into length. Oops. Okay. Now set. No. Set the length to zero point one. It would weigh zero point one until it delete itself. Okay. Now let's see. Oops. Hmm. After we have set it, I don't understand. Uh -huh. First, let's start with this. It moves very good. So we'll have to put the create clone before the move 20 steps. And this is for the snake. Now to control it, when click repeat until touching edge, if key up arrow press. Hmm. Yes. Point in direction. Zero. If key 
down arrow press. Point in direction 180. And continue for the right arrow. And also the left arrow. Right is 90 and the left is minus 90. Now we can control the snake. Oh, too fast. Hmm, we would need some advantages here. We would need to wait 0 0.1. There, that would be our snake. See, now for the fruit, you could make a special fruit or anything more modern, but we'll go with the basic fruit. When you click it, and then forever. Go to pick random. Now, the snake, because it is in any square that is divisible by 20, we would need to net by 20. Pick random this. Now, from here to here, as we learn, which is 240, 240 divided by 220, that would be 12. Yes, 12. That would be the X. And now for the Y. The Y, that would be 9 to negative 9. Now, if touching... The snake change its length by one. No zero point one. Then we'll go to another position. You could also make a score if you like, which is what I would do. Hi then then so. Now the snake will get longer. But sometimes it will appear the edge. So we'll change this to negative 11 and this 8, negative 8. 11, negative 11. 8 and negative 8. And there you have it. Your own snake game. Change this to a large readout. Put it there. You can also make, you know, as I say, a special fruit. Make it a bit bigger. blue or just a normal color red there but after it touches the snake it will gain more points so it will make a very longer time of waiting change length by 0 0.5 
change the score by 5. Set the score at first to 2 because its length at first is 2. Oh yes. We would need it to point in direction 90, longer space so the player could have a better time. Wait 20 seconds. Sure. There we go. Hmm. It's nine hours. Looks like there's something wrong about this. Special fruit. When click it, then hide. And then show right here. Now, the last thing that you would need to do is testing. There you have it. Very easy. Now a game over screen. Go to paint. Then paint the whole screen black. Its text would be white. Something very, very similar like game over. Now it's simple for this. Broadcast a new message, which is hmm, T O. Not go, but game over. Oh yes, special fact. When I receive go, go to X zero zero. When click it, hide. When I receive go, then show. Not actually show, but we'll do something a little bit prettier. Change the ghost effect by negative 10. Set ghost effect. To 100. And then we'll stop off. There you have it, the whole game. Now all we need is a border. Two pixels wide. There you go. The first border is done. Now we we'll just need to duplicate another one. Also, a two pixels wide.
and I think you can do the rest of your own. So you would be well good for now. Just one more. And we are done. There you have it, the border. And now the game is done. Congratulations. Now for the final thing, testing. It starts off pretty good. If you know how to use a broadcast machine, you can make a start button. And that is our game. The higher the length, which is three, the longer the snake. Maybe let's see how long it could survive. With 20 seconds. <coughs> See the twenty seconds. It's almost impossible. Okay, so there you have it, your own snake game. Now, all you have to do is share it. Save, and then share. Thanks for watching, and I hope you can make this game easily. Goodbye.